everybody in Facebook world. How are we all doing today? Happy Easter. Yes. Happy, happy Passover, party. too. Yes, Passover, yes. Happy Easter, happy Passover. Life is good. I am here in the studio with no other than Jose Flores. What's happening, my brother? What's up, my brother? Glad that he's here in the it's studio. It's always good to be here. I hit that by mistake. It's all good. <laughs> I always have fun when I come to visit Matt and the team over here, man. Got to see us graduating a sales class here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's awesome. Pretty cool. Bunch of guys going for a new career in the automotive industry. Yeah, Excited yeah. Excited about that. It seemed like a good group right there. Hey, listen, let's talk about today the power of relationships. Yeah. I want to say, you know, you want to talk about the power of relationships. This guy here, man, you are just, your relationships are blowing up, aren't they? Yeah, yeah. They're just say, blowing up, right? You know, yeah, I mean, man. you know, you're, you're networking, you're getting out there, man. You're speaking all over the country. You just did a speaking engagement, was it Mississippi? Yeah, Mississippi. To hundreds of children, school, school kids, high school kids, yeah. thousands of school yeah, kids. Yeah. You went to a prison, yeah. right? A you spoke detention. there, yeah. all because of a relationship that you made. Yeah. Tell us about it. It was awesome, man. I, I met this guy uh, via Facebook, mm -hmm. and he happened to be uh, in the superintendent's office, part of the superintendent's office in Mississippi, and he saw what I was doing. He, he bought a book of mine. He bought five books, actually. And then a couple of weeks later, he called me back and said, hey, how many more books do you have? And I told him, I, uh, how many do you need? <laughs> what a question. Yeah, right. How many books do you have? You think that's a, clo a closing question or what? <laughs> so I said, how many do you need? And he said, I need about 300. And I said, oh, yeah, I can definitely make that happen for you. However. However, <laughs> I said, hey, since you're, since you're ordering 300 books, how about we work something out so I can come and speak, you know, actually go and speak over there to the district. So he was like, yeah. So we set it up. Uh, flew, flew me out to Mississippi, and uh, it was amazing. Wow, it was, I know it was awesome. I saw the pictures on Facebook. And that's just, that, so let, let's, let's talk about that, man. That's powerful because, you know, we, we have a lot of people that we network with that are speakers, that are trainers, that are coaches. Mm -hmm. And we're always talking about the power of a relationship. So you met this guy, not even in person, you met him in Facebook. Yeah, through Facebook. And he ordered some books. Mm -hmm. Then he called you up and asked for more books, mm -hmm. which is a total closing question. If somebody ever calls you up and says, hey, listen, how many books you have? You need to go for the, you need to say, okay, well, don't worry about the books. What do you need? Yeah, yeah. And then it turns out that you're speaking in front of thousands of his students mm -hmm. in Mississippi, and you're going to be going back, aren't you? Yeah, I'm going back in September. All because from, somebody reached out on Facebook. From another relationship that I built uh, through that relationship. And that was with, uh, and, it, and that other person brought you to the, to the prisons, right? In that, in that relationship. That same guy brought me to the, to the prison, too, yeah. So he, tell us about the other relationship. So, so, so this guy, he wound up have, uh, also being uh, an associate pastor of a church. There you go. And so he brought me in to speak at his church as well. And one of his church members happened to be a, a doctor. Uh, I think he's a professor. or he's, He works at a university in some capacity at Alcorn State University. Okay. And so uh, he connected me with him. And uh, now this guy from Alcorn State University wants to bring me back in September to do a two-day event over there. Wow, man. That's awesome. Power of power relationships. Power right? of relationships. And now, I mean, think about all the relationships you made over the past, just over the past year. Now, we know each other for about two years now. Yeah. About two years, going on two years now. And I met him, I met him here through another event, through another networking event, through the Tony Robbins Power Team event that was done here at the, at the Institute, right? Yeah, yeah. And then we met, and then you, we went to also another event back in March of 2017 called the Grand Cardone 10X event. Mm -hmm. You met some people there. Man, that was amazing. A incredible networking, right? We all met a lot of people there. You met some people there. <laughs> then you wound up going to Tampa with these guys. You wound up doing, tell, I mean. I wound up going to St. Louis. St. Louis, yeah, Tampa. Man. And it's all because not only the power of a relationship. Here, here's, here's the thing about the relationship. It's yeah. the networking. Absolutely. It's the following up with the people. But I think most importantly, it's delivering authentic, real value and friendship. Absolutely. And you know what one of the keys is, is that, you know, you meet people, you know, we meet tons of, you go to tons of networking events, you meet tons of people, mm -hmm. you get tons of contacts, but the, you, you mentioned it just a little while ago, it's the follow-up that's very important. It's, the, follow -up, it's yeah. the genuine follow-up. It's yeah. not like, hey, what can you do for me follow-up? It's, hey, how can I help you, f you know, type of follow-up? Mm -hmm. How can I add value to you or your organization? Or what can I do for you? Right. Not, it's not always about, hey, you're, you're, at, you're at a higher level than I am, or you're at, you're, you know, you're at such a high level of your career, and I want to see what I can get from you. Yeah. It's, it's, not, it's not about that. That's, a, that's a, a mistake that a lot of people make. It's, it's more, the biggest mistake. It's the biggest mistake. The biggest mistake, mistake that they make. We'll talk on that in a minute. And that's yeah. how you will quickly ruin a relationship. Absolutely. But, you know, 
you know, not only do I have a great networking skill, but I also have a great follow-up skill, which is, which, and, and everybody, even from little, from a little kid, you know, I'm always like following up with people, family members, checking mm -hmm. in on them, just saying, hey, how you doing? I sent you guys a, a, a text message the other day, like, hey, I just wanted to shout out, appreciate you, let you guys know I love you, I appreciate the relationship. Mm -hmm. he, does, he does it all the time. And that's it, you know, and, and I'm genuine about that. And yeah. that's how you build genuine relationships. Lasting, that's the key. Lasting relationships. Genuine, genuine Genuine follow up, but but actually giving that value, man. Not not just going out, and you got to be careful because you're going to see a lot of people, especially in this business. Mm -hmm. They're gonna they're gonna strictly call you for one thing and one thing only, mm -hmm. and that's to you know kind of work you, yeah. you know, and, and kind of just you know just to build their net, to build their business. But when you make a strategic relationship with somebody that's authentic and real, and it's more than just making money, you you they recognize that. Absolutely. People recognize when you want to pour value into people, when you want to just give, people are going to recognize that all the time, right? That's when I met you the first time I ever met you. You were here at the office, and I'll never forget it. And I approached, I said, I thought I know, I thought I saw you somewhere, right? So I kind of like I started, we started talking. But I knew instantly by talking to Jose that he was an authentic, real person, right? I just knew it. And we had a relationship ever since. Mm -hmm. And that's how you build these kind of relationships. And you know something? If you have a relationship with somebody, and believe me, it's kind of funny. It does come even if you're a speaker or a coach, you can turn a profit from a relationship after you show authenticity to the people. And then they're going to ask you to come speak at my uh, company or come do a speaking engagement here or a speaking engagement there, right or wrong. That's Absolutely. how it happened with you, you, you just in Mississippi. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. So that's how it works, you know, and it's kind of funny. If you go into a relationship expecting nothing but giving your, of yourself, you're going to get so much more out of it. That's where the value all lies. That's it. That's where it lies. And, you know, you mentioned the 10X, uh, yeah. the Grant Cardone 10X Growth Con. That event changed my life. Oh, yeah. And, and, and it's because of the networking that I did and the relationships that I built with those heavy hitters. Cause yeah, big time. I have, you know, I'm in the process of developing a new website, right? Right. Making it more fancy, more quality looking, but I'm going to have um, Tim Grover. Mm -hmm. He was a speaker at the time. Yes, he was. Yes, he I've was. been building a relationship with him. I have uh, Tim Story. Mm -hmm. He was there. I have Andy Frasella. Mm -hmm. He was there. Yep. Um, uh, my buddy, uh, Chris Cavallini. From Tampa, he was he was he was there. He didn't speak, but he was there. He was there. And I met speak. I met all these guys there. Yeah. And uh, Chris Cavallini, that owns the uh, nutrition company. Yeah. Shout out to Nutrition Solutions, by the way, up in Tampa. He uh, brought me up to come and speak at his company. Yep. Mm -hmm. And he has a multi-million dollar meal prep company. Right. And I've spoken there twice. Yep. And it's all about giving a friendship, though, isn't it? Absolutely. The more you give, the more you get back. And it's kind of funny. We could talk about this at this holiday, not to get all spiritual or religious on you, and it's not really what we do here at this, but the truth is it says in the Bible, if you give, you're going to get. Absolutely. And you sow what you reap. And that's the truth. And we were talking about that farming in, in the One Million Voices uh, um, uh, community that we have going on. We were talking about you know, farming and, put, you know, and, and, and actually sowing what you reap. When you show authenticity to somebody, when you show that you actually care about them and you want to do the right thing by them all the time, that's going to come back. Absolutely. No matter what. So don't expect it to come back. It just naturally happens. That's right. You hear a lot of people say that, um, you know, it's better to give them to receive, first Absolutely. of all, right? Mm -hmm. But the intention of giving is not to have the expectation of getting something in return. Right. It's you're giving with the, with the intentions of actually giving to help. Absolutely. Or giving to serve. That's the key. And when you're serving and giving, that's when the door is open for the reaping of the harvest to come back towards, you know, towards your way. No doubt. And here's the thing. It doesn't matter how tough it is. It doesn't matter what kind of tough times you're going through. No matter what it is. Because some of us... You know, we go through some really tough times, don't we? You know, and we're, we're struggling and we're always saying to ourselves, you know, God, well, why, why, why is this happening to me, God? You know, why? why I'm just trying to work. I, I'm not doing anything wrong. You know, I'm doing the right thing. And, and then some things happen in life. But you want to know something. You say to yourself, God, why is this happening to me? Keep giving. Because he's testing, right? And you keep giving. And guess what? You're going to get back. Yeah. Because the truth is, is that when you genuinely, you know, give from the heart, it shows through, doesn't it? Absolutely. And that's powerful. You know, when we talk about that, especially on this holiday weekend, I mean, what a, what a great weekend. Yeah. Um, you know, for, for, for us, for people who believe and so like, what a great weekend. Today's Good Friday. Good Friday. It's pretty awesome, right? Yeah. Sunday is the day. It's the day of all days. That's right. Right? And, you know, we talk about giving, and it's a great time to talk about giving, but the power of relationships begins with giving. 
If you give, 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 especially in our business, you'll eventually get back. That's just the, that's like a law of the universe. It is. It's a law of the universe. And you'll hear every successful person, everybody who's successful at a high level, they'll always say that the major, one of the major parts of their organizations or companies or them themselves as individuals is always giving back. Always giving back. Yeah, and, it, and it doesn't, you know, it's, I, and I talk about this in my book that I just wrote. Yeah. Um, not to plug it, but I just wrote a plug book called Don't Let Your Struggle Become Your Standard, How to Be Indispensable Even When the Odds Are Stacked Against You. I, I have a whole chapter uh, called The Power of Showing Up. Right. I mean, yeah, I'm sorry, not, no, not showing up. I'm sorry. The Power of Giving. That's, that's your audio book, The Power of Showing yeah, Up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Power of Giving. There's a chapter in there yeah. that I talk about how, you know, all these successful people talk about how, you know, you don't have to always give monetary, uh, you know, monetarily, sure. monetarily, yeah. right? You can give of yourself. You can give of yourself. You can give of your time. You can give of uh, the ability for you to listen to someone else. Yep. There's so many different ways to uh, give, give back without money ever being exchanged. Absolutely. And that's the power of giving. Yeah. That is the power of giving. And, and you don't have to give monetarily. So we're not talking about that. We are talking about the giving of yourself. And even lawyers, I mean, they do pro bono work sometimes, right, for the right, for the right reasons. And, and uh, you know, lawyers, I mean, you know, it is what it is. You, you, usually they don't give away anything, but yeah, a lot yeah, of them yeah. do. Yeah. That's what it is. It's the power of giving, man. It's all about giving. It's all about caring about the people that you're with. It's about really getting out there, yeah. you know, and doing the right thing. So the power of relationship building is is strong within a business, no matter what business you're in. Mm -hmm. Even in sales, right? Think about sales. Salespeople, the, the top salespeople, the best salespeople in any industry, no matter what the industry is, what do they do after they make their sale? They give, mm -hmm. they serve, they're there for their customers, they become trusted advisors for people. And you know, there's a lot of times where, you know, if Jose, like he's, he, he's considered a trusted advisor for a lot of people. They'll call Jose for advice or for whatever it may be. A lot of you reach out to Jose for advice. A lot of you reach out to me. I reach out to Jose. I reach out to others for advice because they become trusted advisors because they give. Mm -hmm. You give of yourself, mm -hmm. right? And that's the power of building relationships. And in this industry, relationships are everything, aren't they? Absolutely. Another thing, too, is that when, you, when, you're, building, when you're building a relationship, the, the power of, of, of giving, you know, when you need a favor or you're going through some hard times yeah. and, and you reach out to individuals, like if I'm going through a hard time and I need to reach out to Matt, yeah. you know, I've, we've given to each other so much that if I'm going through a tough time or even if I'm not going through a tough yeah. time but I just need a favor or I need to ask him for something and I reach out to him, the likelihood of him saying yes is going to be higher because Absolutely. of the relationship that we've built with each other, Absolutely. the relationship that we have. The give and you know the give and take you know yep. without any expectation. I've given to you, you've given to me. But when I ask or I need help or or I just need a favor, when you've built that type of relationship, it's pretty much like a no brainer. You yeah. know that if you built that type of quality relationship and you need somebody to have your back, whether it's in a good situation or a bad situation, that person's going to be there for you because you've shown yourself, like you said, trustworthy. Trustworthy. You've shown yourself trustworthy and because you've, you've given to each other. I, I call that the emotional bank account. And I don't remember where I originally heard that. Uh, I think it was either Stephen Covey or someone else. They described what they call the emotional bank account. It's the power of relationships, the power of building a relationship. And I call that, I use that a lot in my trainings. It's the emotional bank account. See, your emotions, your relationship with somebody is just like a bank account. And think about how this works in a bank account. If you have a bank account and you start writing checks and you start overdrawing on your checks without making any deposits, what are they going to do? They're going to cut you off. Yeah. They're going to send you collection letters. So now you have no relationship with the bank. However, if you keep depositing money in the bank, 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 and then you write some checks, you've got plenty of money to cover that that, 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 that balance, right? It's the same thing with relationships. Absolutely. What happens if in a relationship, Jose, if I don't make those deposits because I, don't, I show that I don't care about you, I don't care about you, I don't care, but then all of a sudden I call you up for something, you're gonna be like, why is this guy calling me for this, right? <laughs> However, if I show Jose that I care about him and I'm constantly you know, working, if, I, if I'm there for Jose, he calls me up, it's a relationship, it's a friendship, it's the love that I show Jose, and, and then, for example, no matter what it is, if I call him up in the middle of the night at 2 o'clock in the morning and I say, Jose, I got a problem, I need some help, he's going to be there for me. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. It's an emotional bank account. And I forgot who said that. Maybe it was Stephen Covey, I think it was. But what a great analogy yeah, when absolutely. it comes to relationships. Your emotions is what it is. It's our emotions, right? It's the emotional bank account that we talk about. You keep depositing, and then when you need to make a withdrawal, you have enough to cover the withdrawal. You got enough to cover that withdrawal, no matter what. Absolutely. That's the power of building that relationship. Yeah, relationships are super important. And uh, 
for all of you guys that are watching out there and you're, you know, you're taking notes or you're trying to figure things out in life mm -hmm. and you might just be starting out, the power of relationships is going to be, if not the main thing, one of the main Without things question. that are going to take you to that next level. So if you're wanting to level up in 2018 and beyond, 1920, you need to start building those powerful relationships that, that are, where you can help each other get to the next level. Yeah. And there's also reverse networking and reverse relationships. And what does that basically mean is this. And this works out pretty well what I, that I find in business. Where, for example, if I have somebody that calls me because they trust me, I'm a friend of them, I've built a great relationship, and they need help with something, but I don't have an expertise in that area, mm -hmm. what I'll do is I'll give a high recommendation to somebody else and connect this person, for example, with this person, and even though I am not involved in that new relationship, I still connected them because I care about this person and I want this person to solve their problem, so I hook them up with this person, and now all of a sudden this person is thankful to me for hooking them up with this person. You see Absolutely. what I'm saying? So Absolutely. it's reverse relationships. You know, because again, everybody knows somebody that can do something. For example, if I need, if I have a client of mine that calls me up for a, a tech issue, right? Now, I'm not a tech, tech, technical kind of guy, but I'll recommend somebody, right? Just to give an example. But it's about the power of relationships, it's about the power of knowing people, loving on people, and then giving back to whoever you're in a relationship with. That's the key. Have you ever seen it happen before where you build a relationship with someone and you made that connection and that other connection's relationship actually got stronger than the connection you had with them? Absolutely. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. And that happens, right? And that's fine. There's nothing the wrong with that. But it's amazing to see that, you know, the power of relationships, you know, yeah. the power of relationships. You never know who you're going to click with, who you're going to connect with on yeah. a higher level. And listen, you're not going to connect with everybody. Right. Right. You're not going right. to connect with everybody. You know, there has to be some type of chemistry there in order to build a relationship. But when you're able to uh, use and, and listen this is another thing too you have to learn how to leverage your relationships as well for sure so for example that guy from Mississippi uh, that brought me out there and connected me with that other guy now that guy's bringing me out there again and right to the university who knows who I'm gonna meet at that location mm hmm that I'll make another relationship with and that's how you know that's it's almost like building a funnel as well you know and while you were out there, I mean, let's face it, you know, he spoke to thousands of kids in Mississippi. This is the power of building a great relationship because he made a relationship with the first guy who brought you out to Mississippi to speak to these kids. Mm -hmm. And now he has a relationship with these high school kids. Mm -hmm. And even though it's not directly, it's, it's indirect with the high school kids, you touched some lives out there. Absolutely. You've cha you, you changed some lives. Absolutely. Because that relationship took place. You were able to have relationships now with some of these high school students that... You know, again, they're going to be hitting the real world real soon. Mm -hmm. You change some lives. Mm -hmm. And because of your relationship, you had an impact in somebody else's life. So the power of a relationship can go far beyond we can even conceive or think of. Mm -hmm. The power of what you can do with the relationships, who you get. Again, this is personal relationships, business relationships, because now his business relationships are personal. Mm -hmm. And they, they respect and like you. Yeah. It's not just business. It's not just business, it's a personal thing as well where they call you up and they say, hey Jose, I need your advice, or hey Jose, I want you to come speak, or I want you to do this. Yeah. It really becomes, it, it's a round robin effect. It's, and, it's just really awesome. And it's very true because the guy who brought me out there, me and him have such a great relationship. Mm -hmm. And it's not only business, like you said. No, it's you not. Know, we call up just to check on each other, see how you're doing, how right. things are going. And um, what I wanted to mention with that was that that one relationship Right, with the guy from Mississippi. He took me to the juvenile detention center, so mm -hmm. I developed a relationship with the people who run that center. While I was on my way over there, they wound up calling the local newspaper and had the newspaper come out there. And so this is why I'm talking about the power of relationship. Yeah, this one guy made a phone call, and within 15 minutes, I was at the juvenile detention center speaking to these kids that are locked up. There you go. The news people got there, and it became this big thing. Then from that, now I also have a relationship with the senior pastor of his church. Right. Because he brought me to his church. And then one of the church members. And it was just a ripple effect. And that's how, and that's how you're able to uh, leverage the power of relationships. Here's the thing that I, I hope people understand about how this works for business as well. Okay? When you talk about this on the business side. And it's kind of the same thing as getting referrals and sales. Mm -hmm. So the gentleman in Mississippi referred you to, the, the, you know, to these other people who you began. And because he referred you, because he introduced you to other people, they immediately trusted you, didn't they? Absolutely. There was no, they didn't have to build a relationship because you were referred by this powerful guy up there. 
He trusted him. He referred, so for example, Jose refer, uh, uh, I referred Jose to Brendan, so Brendan now automatically trusts him. He doesn't really have to build that relationship. It's automatic trust, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Same thing in sales. Like if you're in sales or if you're in business, if you get a referral from somebody, it's an automatic trust level that's already built. That's it's already point. there. And, and that's a great point. Once you have that relationship with people, the power of that really strong relationship, then guess what? It's already built. It's already done. You refer somebody, and your level of respect is already up here. You don't have to start from here to build it. Absolutely. Right? That's a very, very good point. Because yeah. at the end of the day, you're not going to be... If I know you and I trust you, I know that you're not going to refer somebody to me. Absolutely. That's not going to do right by me. Right. So that's a very, very great point. Yeah, and again, point. that's the power of relationship building. Absolutely. The power of having deep relationships. Not just a relationship, but, but deep, trustworthy relationships where... You're a friend, not just a, a business associate. Absolutely. And that's important to build, right? Yeah. Especially in the, in, the, in the business, especially in the business that we're in. Because the reality is, listen, folks, we live in a world where there's so much uh, fugaziness. Fuga that's, a, that's a great word. <laughs> fugazi. Is that a word? It's a, oh, it is a word. Oh, it is a word. Well, I, I think that's a word. Fugazi, like fugazi, I mean, I, yeah. Yeah, I don't know if that's a, a, in the dictionary, but fugaziness, yeah. It's, a word it's, like, now. it's like fake, you know, we have a lot of fake people out there. We yeah, have a true. lot of non-genuine, non-authentic people out there. Everybody always trying to, not everybody, but a lot of people right. are trying. That's why the world doesn't trust people. Like that, you right. know, the, the, the reality is, is, you know, you get a phone call from a sales guy or somebody trying to, you know, help you out or help build your organization. We, we were talking about that just a little while ago. Yeah. You're programmed yeah. in your mind to just automatically say, no, I'm not interested. Yeah, that's true. Without even knowing... We know what the pitch is. Right. We live in a society that we've developed that type of culture. Mm -hmm. But when we know that we're referring someone who's going to be honest with us and do right by us, that's when you'll be able to, you know, actually trust the relationship, let the relationship grow and flourish because people are starving for authenticity. No question about people it. People are starving for genuineness. People are looking for other people that they can be real with, they can be authentic with, and that they can trust. And when you have those, those, uh, those uh, characteristic traits, that's when you'll be able to develop the type of relationship that we all want and, and need in life. Absolutely, and, that, and that's the power of relationships. Is That's what makes it all worth it. Mm -hmm. You know, we've built a great relationship over the last couple, couple of years. Absolutely. And, and we've, uh, you know, we've established that. And, and, you know, I've never asked really for anything from Jose. I might ask him to come speak a couple of times, mm -hmm. you know, and he's, great, he's gracefully come out and speak. And he never even asked for a penny to speak, and vice versa, right? Yeah, I would do the absolutely. same thing in a second, you know? Absolutely. And, and, and it's kind of funny because we were just doing something with John Maxwell and Dave Ramsey. And what did they say? You know, Dave Ramsey said the same thing. Uh, John Maxwell makes a joke. He says, uh, hey, Dave, do you, uh, do you, do you do believe in, uh, in, in free speech? And Dave Ramsey says, well, of course I believe in free speech. You know, I'm thinking of the amendments. Of course I speak. He says, good, because I want you to do one. Right? And, and, and that's what John Maxwell said to Dave Ramsey, right? But it works both ways, right? And, but that's the power of a relationship. Absolutely. Okay? So you can get things done no matter what, and it doesn't have to cost you anything, you know? And that's the power of it when you have true friendships. You know, we've built a great friendship over a couple of years. I trust Jose no matter what. I know that, and I know I can trust Jose, along with everybody else that we work with here. Yeah, yeah. And it's powerful because that's a good sense to have in your heart when you're working, especially when you work with people. Mm -hmm. And especially when you have outside business interests as well. And our families hang out together, our yes. spouses hang out together, they yes. contact each other, we go to each other's birthday parties yep. and stuff like that. Yep. So that's, it's just a beautiful thing to be able to have a, a network of relationships that you can you know, love on, trust on, yep. and depend on. Absolutely. When you need them. So you know, this weekend, uh, we have, it's, it's a special weekend. Yeah. I mean, we've got Passover right this week and, and Easter this weekend. And you know, when you think about that, we want to start to, you talk about the power of relationships, you know, look, I want to get spiritual on you, but, you know, maybe you have a relationship with whatever you believe in, you know, your God or whatever you believe in. Think about that, and, and think about that for this weekend. I'm going to uh, enjoy this weekend with my wife, right? Hey, hopefully we're going to go to Jeremiah's maybe tomorrow, get yeah, some ice cream. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Jeremiah's ice cream, by the way, is, is the bomb. <laughs> I mean, it, it, it's, it is the best. But, you know, think about that. The power of relationships is up here when it comes to, you know, knowing people and having that relationship with others all over the world. It doesn't and, matter. And listen, uh, before we close out too, just as you're enjoying your weekend, celebrating your Good Friday um, or whatever celebration you're celebrating this weekend, you know, be thinking about those genuine relationships, mm -hmm. those good relationships that you do have and those people that you may have not uh, may, may have not have spoken to in a while, shoot them a quick text. Yeah. Shoot them an email. Just let them know you're thinking about them, that you appreciate them. You'll be surprised 
how long that goes, how far along Ooh, that goes. goes a long way. It goes a long way. And people appreciate that, you know? Especially they appreciate that. Especially in times when sometimes you don't know what's going people going through people's minds or going through what they're going through at a certain time. So just a loving, kind word sometimes in a relationship will really turn people around. Yeah. You know what? Even even this weekend, try something different. You know, if you go into uh, your supermarket line and you're paying for your groceries or or somewhere else, it doesn't matter where it is. If you see somebody's having a bad day, give them a smile. Yeah. You know, just smile at them, man. You know, it might just change their outlook for the day. You never know. But just be genuine. Mm -hmm. You know, be genuine and and show the love to other people. And man, everything. It, it, Life is good, man. Yeah, man. There's no reason why we should be miserable. Life That's is right. good, you know. So we're we're here for a short period of time. Yeah. So as you said, as you're celebrating this weekend, be grateful, be thankful, reach out to those relationships that you have, and uh, just show, just just let them know how much you appreciate them, how much you value them, how much you look up to them, and uh, you see how far that goes. Yeah, Brendan. There's some people that. So, uh, so speaking of relationships, yeah. uh, so Farouk says hi to both. Doctor hey, Farouk, Farouk call away from India. Doing, Thanks, Farouk. Doctor, for joining us, man. Uh, Tommy Caputo and his normal wise guy says relationships. What a concept! Wow. <laughs> <laughs> hey, well, hold on a second. You know, I got to say this, and I want to throw a shout out to Tommy. You know why he said that? He says that because he is a master of building relationships in the car industry. In other words. That's what he does. His whole business is his own relationship. He doesn't worry about customers coming to see, customers walking on a lot. He has so many relationships that he does so well in the car business because of the relationships he's built with people. Mm -hmm. So when somebody, for example, sends Tommy a customer, right, that customer comes in to see Tommy, that relationship is already established because the trust level is already there, like we were talking about just before. Yeah. So yeah, relationships, what a concept. It is everything, right? It's everything. So, And we're going to do a, a, a survey. I mean, Tommy and I are going to talk about the power of networking and building relationships in sales next week. Oh, when nice. we do a sales thing. Yeah, so we're going to talk about that. Nice, nice. Mm -hmm. um, so Manju says, greetings of the day, great topic, loves it. Manju, all the Manju. way from India. Hey, how are you? Yeah, man, Manju's on there. Um, Iris, uh, she's on here giving you guys a shout out and she says paying it forward. Love it. Iris. Yes, yes, Iris. See you, I'll be seeing you next week, Iris. Uh, David Bilotti, Bilotti? David uh, Bilotti, my Bilotti. buddy, my buddy for many years, man. He's, David and I grew up together. He said, Hey guys, happy Easter. Happy Easter to you, Dave. Uh, Tommy Pichardo gave you guys shout outs. She's, um, waving Latonia Johnson. She both said hi. Awesome. Uh, David Charles says hi. Loves it. Uh, Wilkin was checking in. Says he loves this. Wilkin, hey, what's up, Wilkin? Yeah, I spoke with Wilkin at a university on the west coast of Florida. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah that's yeah. right. Yeah, Wilkins is over on the west coast. Yeah, Wilkin. Hope he's not good out there. He's not, I see him preaching at the church all the time, man. Yeah, Wilkins yeah. is doing great out there, man. That's awesome, awesome brother. Shout out to Wilkins. Yeah, and then uh, uh, Shermanda said hi to all three of us and said yeah. happy Easter. Hey, Shermanda, how you doing? And then uh, Katya said, so nice to see you guys. Thank you for such a great topic. Warm hugs. Catch it. All right. Awesome, guys. Well, look, happy Easter. Uh, happy Passover. It's going to be a great weekend, everybody. We hope that uh, the power of relationships, you take that into this weekend. Make some new relationships this weekend. Get to know some other people genuinely. And, uh, oh, hey, maybe and even repair some damaged relationships. Be thinking about that as well. You know what? With the loved ones. Forget it, right? Yeah. No reason to hold grudges. Yep. Awesome. Well, listen, everybody, you have a great weekend. Have a great I'm weekend, glad guys. to be here with Jose. Thank and you, uh, hey, give us a shout out, man. We would love to chat with you guys. Have a great Easter and a happy Passover. Take care.